That can be yeah. pretty annoying. I know I really do not like talking to someone who's been drinking if I have not also been drinking. It's almost impossible. If we're both a little loopy, then I can giggle when you're when you say something stupid or you don't get to your mm -hmm. point eventually or whatever. And we just kind of like, what were we talking about? Ah, <laughs> let's have another beer. But if if especially no, it doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. I'm thinking I can both voices. I'm I, I <laughs> drunk voices if you're if you're sober. Ugh. The cadence, I'd rather the slowness, the slurring. Yeah. And, and the 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 like, no, 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 you don't no that kind of shit. <laughs> that kind of shit. When one eye starts doing that, when you like, like lose control of an eye and they're fucking like I got no time for you. I got no time for you. you a bit. <laughs> nothing I say to you matters because you're not printing any of this in there right now. You're 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 you, none, nothing's yeah. getting printed. You're just on talk mode. You're you're, you're you've yeah. Your brain Anything is fucking addled. Will have nothing to be to do with repeated you. anyway. Like this yeah, is so yeah. well phrased. Yeah, I, I am. I can be conversationally intolerant if someone's bad at speaking in the first place. You throw in some alcohol. I, <laughs> Can I just walk away? I just want to turn 180 <laughs> degrees and walk. <laughs> just, so just, and like, <laughs> open their mouth and like, ah, no. Like, <laughs> Hold that thought. I'll never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so yeah. I don't even drink. So when I go out and I, you know, I'm around people at events and stuff, I just have to deal with it at this point because I'm never going to be in a situation where it's like, all right, I'm going to reciprocate this. So I have to just learn to live with. We could just get so stoned yeah. that you're also impaired. Yeah, that's true. But then but it's the opposite. If I do that, then it means they're going to be like, oh, yo, how you doing, bro? Yo, yo, this my homie Drew. And I'm going to yeah. be there like, yo, bro. See, that's not the kind of drinker I am, though. Like like the, the idea of like a Kyle, you know, being this rager um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is so in. foreign. When, it, when, I, when I get drunk, I really want to uh, like, like talk. I want to have like a silly you, conversation. Cool yeah. I, I want to be outside drinking and probably smoking and just shooting the shit on a patio. Like, like that's my idea of having a good time while I'm drunk or maybe yeah. by a fire and we're, you know, a lake and it's like light beer or something. And we're just cracking them and eating or something. I have fond, I have this great memory growing up of, of, uh, of eating pheasant balls or something like that with this Ooh. disgusting white trash beer. And it was just such a wonderful combination of those bacon wrapped, little bird breasts and the the beer and everything it was a good day we were playing poker i was winning wonderful so as involves balls have nothing to do with testicles. no testicles nah you take their whole breast out jalapenos cream cheese bacon and you grill them up it's it's little chunks of delicious lean meat i know i know <laughs> no. I'm, for him, <laughs> for, for him. <laughs> every story is the first time yeah. for me yeah it's, it's, it's like... <laughs> I, I even know what beers kyle likes superpower. all the mexico ones all the Mexico ones. Mm -hmm. I uh, I can't get down with that Guinness. I remember Your Guinness sucks. I remember when I was not even of drinking age yet, and and I had those roommates, and they always liked those disgusting beers. I couldn't get down with that shit. But Guinness, oh Guinness, come on, Kyle, have a Guinness with his Bro, fucking Guinness Polak a, accent. Do you like beer, and if so, which one's good? Well, Kyle. Oh, I like the Mexican beers. I like I like the Mexican beers. The Corona and the... Dos Equis, Dos Equis, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, with Corona lime with lime in the neck, I've always thought was more tolerable. Um, it's yeah, it's freezing on like a hot day. That's where it's that's where it's at. With hey, what's that beer you're supposed to throw a slice of fucking orange in? What is that, Zach? I'll Google it. A slice of orange. I don't know. I always see people drinking those beers and they got a whole goddamn slice of orange in there. What kind of beer is that? I think Google Moon was about to ask. Is that. it Blue Moon? A Blue Moon? It Belgian is Blue White. Moon. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had one of those in forever. Those are good. Did you Google it too, Taylor? No. No, I was like oh. trying to remember back to what beer I've had with an orange in it. And I think that might be the only one. Yeah. I haven't had any alcohol in shit. When's the last time I drank? Did I don't you know overdue? if I do. I don't know. Oh, I know. No, no, I'm not. I don't <laughs> think I've had a drink since I uh, could smoke either weed or you know this delta eight stuff i don't think i have I because what's the to. point yeah. why why would you like bro when you drink it makes you need to pee need to vomit and then you're out of control of yourself like, that's calories. not even the worst part i was waiting taylor nailed it, it makes you fat mm -hmm. that's the yeah, problem and it makes you fat. everything else i can deal with <laughs> oh yeah it's uh it's terrible it's terrible how how where do you think this country would be if we'd stuck with prohibition what do you think would have happened would we have 
there would have been a black market? Do you think the country would have been in a worse place than it is today if there was that black market? And then sort let's of be thing, real. We'd It'd have people be in, in a much better place. <laughs> like, like, well, if you could get everybody to get on board with it, but they won't. They won't. That's the I'm problem. They want their advice. Did, did they give it a good try? It's like five oh, years, yeah. right? No, almost the whole uh, the whole twenties, right? And then they brought oh. it back in nineteen like thirty one. If it was illegal for ten years, I feel like we know our answer. Like culture wasn't about to change in less than fifty. It spawned yeah. Al Capone. You know, it, it spawned the professional gangster in this country in a still, lot of ways. Nice half full. Hey, glass half full. You're right. You're right. I mean, the Kennedys made their money. That's off actually of true. You know, yeah. it really did I, yes. teach them bootleggers, big criminals. Like yeah. it, it taught like the main guys in the twenties, like, oh, sweet, like now you've had this little test run with alcohol, and alcohol is legal again. Now you know how to do it with like crack and heroin. Good luck, boys. And a lot like, of those guys, like, who were like in charge, like the Nucky Thompsons, so to speak, like were very similar to that at the time. Like publicly, they're like this demon liquid can never be allowed to come back because like they make boatloads of money by selling Canadian fucking booze to <laughs> onto the table. So like all of them, the Kennedy, like it just, this is reprehensible. And meanwhile, just counting their fucking millions <laughs> of dollars from, from that. Yeah. It is well, terrible though. We should look at that blueprint and make some money. Heroin's illegal. Get on it, Taylor. You need to, I tried job. that. Woody, it didn't go well. Haven't you heard? <laughs> I was a trafficker. 